Welcome back to Tied Up at the Morgans. Uh, today we're at my parents. I got uh, a few more trees to do. Yesterday was the video I, before of me working with the trees planting. So I got a, a little bit more to do over halfway there. So I'm gonna be planting some trees, finishing that up. And my dad's actually at Rural King right now. He's getting something to, uh, so we'll be able to water them easier. We, you know, pump it from the uh, pond, I think is the plan. What we'll do, we'll get a, he's got a, he's got the pump and everything we need. We're gonna use, a, he's got a lot of that stuff. We just need something that'll fit in the sidekick. And uh, so he's looking for something right now to do that. Uh, in the meantime, before I head out to the woods, I'm gonna take hundreds of sheets. And we, uh, on Outdoors of the Morgans, they just got a really nice uh, gift card in the mail from someone, I don't remember the name right now, but he, uh, he watches my parents' channel and he sent the hunter a gift card to Sheets. So we're using that for Hunter's lunch today. So, well, breakfast, but, uh, so thank you for that. Um, really nice. I wish I remember the name, but uh, they'll be getting a thank you card from my mom here soon. So anyways, um, always nice when people think of you, huh, Hunter? Hunters, be an extra patient while we're getting ready to go. So we are going to head to Sheets, and then when we get back, I'm gonna go plant trees, and you're gonna go eat, right? Okay. All right, we just got the food. Hunter, tell him what you got. Hunter got some boneless chicken, and he got um, his Diet Coke, and he, you get the, so he orders on the app. I hold my phone out, and he gets to order and he picked the boneless chicken bites, but he also picked, he does this every time, he gets um, the sauce, He get, it's a barbecue sauce, but it's a Dr. Pepper barbecue sauce. I think he's only picking it because it has the Dr. Pepper logo on it. Um, and so I think, he thinks one of these days he's gonna pull one over on me and they're gonna give him two pops. He's gonna get the Diet Coke and the Dr. Pepper. But every time he picks a sauce, he picks that one. And I know it's because there's a Dr. Pepper logo, but he eats it. Is that why? Okay. Ready to go? Hunter's ready. You want to take the camera? Okay. <laughs> All right. All right. Out here at the mini cabin. Okay. Uh, this is pretty much all model four rows in here. I'd walk down through here and over there and kind of just started clearing out some areas. We're going to plant some trees. Um, here's some of the trees here. We'll just see what's left of them. Uh, I know I already went over this, but just to be a little more thorough. So this is a Jim Gem Dibble Bar. I will put a link in the description. It's heavy, but man, it, it works really well. You can see it got, it comes to a nice point here. This side's got like a spade, this side's flat. And it is perfect for this. If you were to be planting a burlap tree, or you know a potted tree, uh, a normal shovel is going to do just as good. Uh, but for when it comes to bare root, this is the way to go uh, because I mean it's it's designed to plant a lot. Like there's there's videos out there of people planting a thousand trees a day with these. You know I've seen videos of guys. There's just two of them that will plant these. Uh, I saw one in particular, they planted a thousand trees. It was two brothers in one day with something like this. And I know that's a lot, but I know I could do the same thing if I were working in a field like they were. You know, they were working in a really big field and that's just real easy at that point. Cause all you do is you just in, set the tree, close it up, next one. You don't have to worry about weed eating. You don't have to worry about um, finding a spot. You're not working in a forest like this. When you're working in a big field, you can really do hundreds at a time with these. And I like that because it's just a simple tool. You know what I mean, it's no, you don't need a tractor or anything. Anyone can do it if you have the uh, space for it and you're trying to plant trees. So these are the way to go. So I want to just uh, show you a little more about planting these. But really the way it works, and I've showed is you're going in the ground, moving it forward and back, that creates the slit. You stick the tree in, and then you'll go right in front, push that dirt back, then use your feet to flatten everything out and uh, compact it. But it's let's uh, let's show you now in person. Just come in right here. All right. See the dibble. It's in the ground. 
I'm going to rock it forward, creating a nice opening. Back, pull it out, and you got a nice slit right there. Now we'll grab a tree. The reason I'm keeping it in the bucket here is just to keep the uh, roots wet. So let's grab this one here. Okay. So, you see some of these roots, I don't know if you can see, yeah, you can see some of these roots can get pretty long. So there's just two on this one that are really long. So I'm gonna trim those two to put them the same length as the others. This won't hurt the tree, it'll be okay. Um, so I'm going to trim that. I'd like to do this all on camera. So you can just see in case there's any questions. So I'm just using these here to cut those, but I gotta find which ones. Okay, there they are. Unfortunately, I'm not gonna be able to do this while holding the camera, so. But you get it, all I'm doing is just going to cut, yeah, those longer roots right there to make them the same length as the others. So I'll be right back. Okay, those roots are trimmed. So now we're gonna come over to our little opening here. And somehow I'm gonna to have to do this with one hand. You know what, maybe I can prop the camera up. Really should have done this before I started to film. But... All right, let me throw my gloves back on. This camera I'm using has a little tripod. It's just, a, you know, like three inches or something, but it works, so, okay. You got your tree right here. And keep in mind, you wanna know where it was planted before, and you can always tell by the color. Not always, I should say, but you can usually tell by the color. There's usually two different colors of the tree, and you wanna make sure that you don't have it buried too deep or too shallow. So I just grab the roots like this to help get everything in, make sure nothing's sticking out. And then, because that hole's actually a lot deeper than you'd think, um, or at least I shouldn't say that anything. It's deeper than it shows on camera. So I put my hand in there to help guide them in. And I always go a lot deeper than needed to get the roots straight. And then I bring it back out. And in that way, what it's doing is all of those roots are in the ground and nothing is sticking out. So pretty much what I'm saying, if that didn't make sense, I'll push all the roots down with, by hand and then I'll push the tree in nice and deep. Deeper than I plan on planting it. Then once I see that all the roots are angled downwards, they're not, you know, in a bunch, then I'll pull the tree up, which I've already done, to where I want it to be. So now I'll come around to the other side here with the dibble bar. Okay, and I'm gonna just go in right around here And then I'm going to grab the tree, <clears throat> straighten it, pushing that dibble bar forward. Didn't work out with one hand. Okay. You see, the tree's not straight, but we're not done. So now, with my foot here, I'll be able to compact all the dirt around the tree, holding the tree here to kind of keep it straight and not damaging the tree. And there you go. This one has a slight angle, but I'm not too worried about it. The sun's mostly over here, so I think that'll help it to straighten out. But there you have it. All right, I got about 10 in the ground so far. Um, I was doing the weed, the weed eating first, string trimming. And uh, so now I, then I planted 10 and I still got more spots available now or cleared out the plant but my dad just called he needs me to uh, help him run some cameras so I'm gonna head over there and help film some uh, video for him that's where I'm heading now and uh, then after that I'm gonna head back to the woods and uh, get back to planting but it's going well so far I like it it's peaceful I love being in the woods and it's even more peaceful when there's no equipment or anything running you know when I'm just have a, a dibble bar some bare root trees it's real soothing peaceful I, I love it you know you hear all the birds I hear a lot of different birds and um, 
you're finding new plants and things, learning. So it's, I love it. It's a great time. Like I said, it's, it's a nice break from equipment noises and things like that. It's just, it's quiet. All right, well, we're gonna see where my dad's at. I think I'm meeting him in the wood yard, so. Let's see if he's over here yet. Back in the woods, uh, one thing from helping my dad turned into, I actually had to run home and help Kate get the uh, chicks out, put them out. Um, it's just a little hard with two kids and 26 chicks. Ty was trying to help, so it was just a lot to a uh, lot to do. So I ran down and gave her a hand. We've got the chicks outside, Kate's out with the kids. So I'm back here in the woods, um, gonna get planting more. But I wanted to ask you guys something. If you can comment on this video, uh, what I'm planning to do, I've been uh, making a bunch of notes, but I'm gonna be doing a, a lot of like forestry tree kind of videos. Um, maybe one a week is the plan uh, once I can get get the ball rolling but I'm gonna be doing uh, a tree a week or a plant a week maybe not always a tree but maybe sometimes it'll be a plant um, keep in mind it's only gonna be things that are you know that we have here um, but it could be invasives not just native plants so it could be invasive plants that I'll be talking about but it's stuff I enjoy and I think it'll help you know any any of you if you have any questions or whatever so but yeah, I'll be covering, you know, any of the trees we have, the plants we have, invasive species, whatever it is. And I'll be telling everything about it, how to identify them, where you can find them, where they grow, um, you know, what it attracts, stuff like that. But to help me prepare for those, if you have any questions or if there's anything you'd like to know about um, trees, please leave that below. You know, so maybe, maybe you're more interested in the identification or maybe you're more interested in, you know, uh, what you should grow or, you know, what attracts what animal or like maybe you maybe you want to have food plots. So or maybe you want to have, you know, plant some trees on your land, but you um, want to know what's, you know, maybe maybe it's like a hunting property. Right. And so you want to plant some trees and you have questions about what's good for that. So really, if you have any questions that you would have any that you would like to let me rephrase that. If you have any questions you'd like me to answer on, you know, trees, plants, invasive species, whatever, please comment them below in this video. That'll help me in preparing for these and really what you'd like to know. I've been taking a lot of classes through the Penn State Extension. I've been putting a lot of time in the woods myself, you know, always, but um, especially now that I've been learning more, I've been applying that. So if there's anything you'd like to know, please comment below and that'll help me prepare for those videos. But the goal is it would be nice to have like one a week, maybe every Friday I'd have a video and it'd be like forest based, you know, something in the forest, a different plant, a different tree, whatever. So yeah, I think uh, that's something that I'm looking forward to doing. I love this stuff. I read a lot about it, do classes on it. So yeah, anything at all, please let me know. Thanks. Let's get back to planting trees. All right, I just finished. 100 total trees are planted. Feels really good. It took me two days. Um, I know if, if you've done this before, you're probably thinking that's a really long time. But like I said, if you look at what I'm working with here, a lot of steep hills, a lot of trees, a lot of uh, you know, model four rows, stuff like this. So uh, it wasn't easy. I know I had a lot of you know string trimming to do, a lot of pulling weeds, a lot of finding a good spot, a lot of walking back and forth. Um, so it's not like it was just a big open field. For a big open field, I could have done that in a, a few short hours, I'm sure. Uh, and I'd like to do that one day because I'm sure that's satisfying. After doing this, it probably feels great to crack out a hundred in a couple hours, you know? But uh, anyways, no complaints, love it. Love being out here. Um, the next step, we're gonna be watering all these tonight. I think the hardest part about this is going to be finding them all. I know I'll be able to, but it's just, I know I'm gonna be, what, what I'm planning to do right after this video actually is probably walking through and taking mental notes or maybe even writing it down of like, okay, and this, in my mind, you know, there's different parts of the property, right? So like, I'll know, okay, on this hill, there's 20, right? And then I'll know like, okay, well in this valley, there's 40. I don't know, like over here, there's five. So I think if I just take notes like that, that'll help me. So when I'm walking it, I'm not gonna get to the end and think I got them all and then be like, well, that's only 76, you know, where's the rest? So I think that'll help me. Um, so I'll do that here in a little bit is go and walk through and find uh, them all, try to. Uh, that way make watering a little quicker. 
And instead of doing the fencing like we were gonna do, um, we're going to go with the tree tubes. That's what we originally planned on. Uh, and then we thought the fencing would just be, because uh, the tubes take a little bit to get here. So we wanted to just get the fencing to get them protected, but we're pretty confident the deer aren't gonna bother them right now. Um, at least from our research that they're more so winter is when they're most vulnerable. So right now I think we'll be okay by just uh, waiting a couple days and we get the tree tubes, we'll put those tubes on. That helps them to grow faster. It creates like a little greenhouse effect in there and protects them from any you know, deer rubbing on them in the fall or them eating them, anything like that. So yeah, beautiful day. Got up to uh, 81 today, so it's a great day. Every day is a good day when you're in the woods. So yeah, I love this. It's a good day. I hope I hope maybe you learned something. I hope that uh, you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, please comment below. If you have any feedback, comment below. Uh, if you've done anything like this, let me know. I'd love to hear from you. I love hearing about people that are doing this stuff. So yeah, maybe you've done bigger projects. Maybe you haven't tried it. Maybe you're going to try it. Just share below. We'd love to hear from you. Thanks for all the support. You guys are so kind. Um, yeah, it's been a lot of fun. Uh, well, Kate and I and the kids are, you know, getting our feet wet with this and still diving in. So we got a lot to learn. Kate does a great job with the editing. So I'm grateful for her for doing that and for her cooking videos and all of the content she provides. She does a great job. The kids, you know, what can I say? They're, they're perfect. So we're, we're really blessed. But thanks to all of you. And uh, I think that's it. So we'll see you in the next one. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment below. Thanks, guys. I just got home a little bit ago. We just had dinner and now I have to cut the grass and do some weed eating. And by some, I mean a lot. I have really been lacking, not lacking, slacking this year when it comes to cutting the grass. Just been busy with garden, with the chickens, with the chicken coop, planting trees, just a whole lot of other things um, that have been taking up my time. And on top of that, the the weather. So the on when it when I would be able to, it rained. Like all last week, it rained, and the yard was just a muddy mess. There was never a day to even mow. So now everything's drying up, and I can get to mowing again. So if you hear Ty crying right now, I'm sure you can hear him. Ty's crying because he because I'm outside. I just got outside to put my boots on, and he wants to be outside with me. But because we're mowing the grass, he can't be outside with me because it's just not safe. I don't want to be watching for him. I mean, we have a, we definitely have a big enough yard where it's not like he's in danger if I'm mowing. But at his age, it is because he's going to be uh, he's not going to stay still. So that's where we run into issues because he's going to want to go to that mower and get on the mower, and that isn't going to work, obviously. So. Um, yeah, that's where we're at right now. Ty's pretty upset. Every time I mow, it's like this because he wants to be on the mower with me. So we got to get to it. And uh, it's going to be their bedtime in about two hours anyways. So, I mean, I got some time to kill uh, till I got to get in and help put the kids to bed and stuff. But he's not going to uh, he's not gonna cry the whole time. He'll give up here in a little bit. But oh, it just kills him. He loves tractors. He loves working. All of it. He's actually trying to open the front door right now. Well, I'm gonna finish getting my boots on and get to it, guys. Thing first is to kind of do a little walk through the yard because there's a lot of stuff out in the yard that we don't want to run over with the mower. Ty has a plastic spoon. I don't even want to show you the inside of his house. Oops, that wasn't the plan. So. These things we have, they're on our front porch. Ty actually took one the other day and we have a, an empty pot of dirt on the porch that we were gonna plant something in. Ty, Ty stuck one of these in there. It was really funny. He had just this big thing of flowers sticking in there and it's fake obviously, but it was funny and cute that he knows, you know, he understands somewhat the planting and yeah, he planted his own plant. All right. I've also mentioned before on this channel and videos that I'm not a lawn expert. So yeah, our lawn is not the best. We have lots of weeds, it doesn't look great. I'm trying, you know, we're trying. So uh, bear with me and 
you'll see me cutting some grass.